Hey, Sean here from speedcubereview.com. So I have reset up my Geiger queue because I haven't used it in a long time. I had, they had the pink stickers on it, the weird shades and the magnets clicked. So I replaced the shades. Um, Speedcube shop has the holes in them for each one, which at first I was a little iffy about, but it's kind of nice because then they all sort of look the same. It's not just two random ones with holes, but I can always replace with regular stickers if I want. I also took the pieces apart and glued the magnets. So there is no magnet clicky sound besides obviously the plastic clicking against each other, but you don't hear the magnet moving and this is this is much better. Now I have to figure out how to connect to the computer because I had a video using the Geiker app on the phone, but there's some nicer apps on the computer. So let's let's do this. So what I need to do is figure out how to connect this I'm always a little confused with this based on like, cause there's no on button. So let's, let's see if I can find this on the computer and connect. So it's scanning now. And what do I do to connect this? I'm gonna have to look this up because I don't know for sure. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Wow, I don't really know how this works. Oh, it beeped. I forget there's a speaker in here. Okay, battery's at 40%. Okay, so let's get going with this. I'm just going to scramble it up and see how this works. I haven't done this before. Okay. Oh, that's cool. What if I do the wrong move? Oh, it doesn't do anything, okay. Inspection. Oh, it was a 15 second inspection right away. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly I'm really nervous. Okay. Oh, not used to that. Okay. Well, that's cool. So. Let's see here, it shows the cross, the F2L. If I click this, what happens? Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so it says each pair. Can I have it tell me the whole solution? Okay, so there's no instructions on the site. I'm guessing this is a range, like F2L ended here, and then maybe the OLL started at that time, and then, you know, oh wait, something about inspection time. Execution time. Ooh, okay, that's really cool. So it tells your your inspection and execution. Wow, PLL was slow. Not used to how this is turning, so let's see if I do better next time. Oh, I keep getting inspection starts right away. I keep thinking I need to hit something. Um, let's do white again. Okay, so let's see, I, I wanna see if it knew that there were M slices. Can I click this? Here, I'm gonna do a weird one. I'm gonna do F2L and try to do M slices. Oh, no, I'll do it with the cross. Okay, how do I do this with M slices? Oh, okay, so. We'll see what that counts it as. Nope. Oh wait, oh, no, that's bad. Try C-O-L-L, -L. that's gonna be less efficient. Nope, I did the wrong thing. Oh, this is just the worst. <laughs> that was really bad. Okay, let's see the cross. Let's see what it said I did. Okay, so it used L and R prime. It did not actually show M moves. 
wow, this is really cool. I'm actually going to see if there's other apps. I, I just kind of generally looked on here and we'll see what happens. But but let's go on to CS Timer. Computer's going a little bit crazy. So sorry if there's a hum in the background. Okay, I'm guessing that just said disconnected. So let's see here. Scanning, scanning, there it is. And I'm using Chrome for this right now. I'm sure almost anything could work, but let's see what this does. Okay, that's fun to watch. Oh, geez. Okay, I think the timer started already as well. Ugh, I'm just going to keep doing white cross because that's the easiest right now. Whoop, nope, shoot, what am I doing? Nope. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it says 68 moves. Can I see what it is? What if I click on this? Scramble, nope. Um, I guess it just tells you moves in TPS. I don't know if I could see what the actual solve is. Let's do one more. Then I'm going to look, see if there's any other apps out there. Actually, orange is nice. I'll do orange. Change things up. Ugh. Yeah. So less doesn't perform as nicely as I remember it doing, but okay, that's fun. So a lot of these use CFOP. I remember hearing someone saying that Rue can work as well, um, but let's do this. And I, I, I'll check M moves as well. See if I do the wrong move. Oh, nope. Okay. What? It's done. Oh, I still think some of the, well, that's not right. Reset. Okay, let's try that again. That was a good one. Okay. Oh, it actually said I did an X move? Hmm. I don't know about that. It said what the A perm was. Well, that's nice. Okay, I'm going to do a couple other ones because actually that was a good one. Um, I don't know what happened that first time. I want to do something with M moves because this seems a little more advanced than other ones. Did it count M moves? It did. Wow. Okay, so. This one might be the best so far, the Hakatashi. I don't know what happened that first time. It was a little awkward with that. Can I get the full readout? What if I do this? What's that? Nope, that's just full screen. Ooh, what is that? Replay on l.cubing.net. Oh, this is so much nice, so much fun, so much nice. Ugh. Okay, that's really cool. That is really, really, really cool. So, so far, this is the winner. Well, that's cool. It'll show your time for that. I don't know how you would do Rue with this. I've heard that you can. But let's do two more solves and then call it a day.
Whoop, I did something wrong there. Well, I'll fix that later. Nope, I need to fix it now. Wonder what I'll say I'm doing then, because I'm doing a really messed up. Oh, okay, that was interesting. It thought I was doing Rue the whole time because I messed up the cross, uh, and I, I swapped these. So, oh, that was a rough solve. But it automatically switched. Will it do ZZ? Okay, so the only thing that I'm not a big fan of, or that I wish it would add, would be the the clock, the um, inspection time. Which maybe you can add it. I saw something that said something about inspection time. It looks like this can be done on your phone as well, so you don't need a desktop to do it. So I've heard some issues with Geico Cubes not connecting anymore. I have not had too many issues. I used it a lot when I got it and then kind of put it away. I know there's also GoCube and GAN is coming out with their own. So I, I, there's probably a lot of different things. But if you have a Geico Cube, you can get new stickers for it. Um, you can glue in the magnets. Uh, just unscrew the, the caps. Try to hold it upright when you pull the cap off because the magnets can spill out. And um, you just need a drop of glue. Just watch out when you put the caps back on because they, they fit very snug in there. So the glue can sometimes stop that. So I had to really maneuver that back on. But awesome. So check out these apps. You can just Google it. But I'll put a link in the description to all three. The first one was really nice. But I think this third one definitely wins, especially with being able to recognize Rue and figure out what M moves are. So thank you very much. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.